From the east and the west, you've heard others, but now you've tuned into the best. This is a Prime Wave Media production. What's up, world? It's the one and only Pop DiBiase, and this is the premier sports betting show, the primetime angles live on IG. All right, so we have a big show for you today, but I'm going to try to get through here as quick as possible because, you know, I got to get back to L.A. this afternoon and everything like that. So pretty much you already know what time it is. It's checkout time right now. Um, So um, here we are. We got some really good games going on today and everything like that. Last night was an absolute wash. Uh, the We got the under last night, but the Patriots didn't show up. We couldn't get the 20 uh, total, and we didn't get the money line either. And then uh, pretty much um, college football kind of went to the left last night as well, too. Florida Atlantic did not show up. They've been killing it all season. But yesterday, I don't know. That team didn't arrive yesterday. That team wasn't on the field yesterday, and we wound up losing out on that one as well, too. But it's all good because today is a new day, and let's go ahead and get on that day. All right, so here we are, pretty much. Conference USA, as you guys can see, we did lose the FAU game last night. I'm rolling with UTEP, plus 9.5. I know that they're playing tonight, but I do have another bet that, uh, that, a, a little bit later for the Friday Night Lights bet. So pretty much the plus 9.5 UTEP tonight. This is going to be a good game between two Texas teams. Texas teams usually always have very close games, especially the smaller schools like these ones, UTEP and Northern Texas and things of that nature. UTEP has had a much better season than they've had in years. So pretty much we're going to go ahead and take the plus 9.5 with UTEP. This is a possible upset as well too, so just keep that in mind. And then you have uh, the over 43.5. That's not going to be UTEP either, but I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, over uh, 43.5 in the UAB. B game. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes my mind gets duplicate. So there it is, over 43 and a half, the UAB game. And uh, there it is, uh, pretty much point total. So we just got to get the over 43 and a half, not team total, just over 43 and a half in the a- a- UAB game. Let's see how it shakes out. We move forward from there. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into the Miggity Miggity Mac. And the in the Miggity Miggity Mac, we have uh just a few games here. And I'm gonna um go with um EMU over Ball State. We have more games here. I don't know what, what happened. I, I put it way more games here, but um the EMU um minus six over sixty five and a half with Ball State and um with Ball State and uh Western Michigan as well too. Um so we got those two in in play. Also, uh, in the um, had the we got. I just go ahead and I make sure that when when I release it, I go ahead and do a little snippet, and then I give you guys the full 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 list of it. Um, or I can just go ahead and fix it for you guys tomorrow. But I did have. These uh, I did have the extras. I don't know where they went, but there were the bets. They were they they were laid. I I I I'm tripping about how weren't they written down. But let's move on to the uh, Mountain West. In the Mountain West, we got uh, San Jose State. Um, I love San Jose State tonight. They've jumped to a four and a half as well too. Just a heads up, they they were at a minus one, and then it went switched to a. Uh, uh, four and a half just uh, over the last few minutes and everything like that. I just caught it. And then you got the uh, Wyoming game plus 10 and a half against Boise as well. I love this game as well. And then you have the under 51 Utah State, Colorado State. And then you have the over 59 and a half Fresno State, New Mexico. Good old rivalry game between those two teams who haven't played much in the last few weeks. But Fresno State, New Mexico, I really like it over 59 and a half. And then you know what? Vegas is just so woeful. I'm going to take the the 20 and a half on Hawaii just to blow them away because Vegas has been annoying. I give, I've given Vegas plenty of chances to cover spreads, things of that nature. I'm tired. I'm tired. They're money burners. So I'm moving on. 
And um, we move on to the uh, Pac-12 bets list. The number two team, Cal, here. Um, I mean, <laughs> minus two on Cal here. So pretty much let's see how it shakes out with Cal. I think this should be a good one as well, too. So we uh, move forward from there. And then we have the Colorado money line as well, too. Minus 140 and the over 55 with ASU and Zona as well, too. Uh, that's going to be a game that's going to be played today. And I think that's going to be a really, really good game because you got 11-point uh, favorite and they haven't won a game all season. So we'll see how it shakes out. Over 55, Battle of the Desert, uh, Tucson versus um, – Tucson versus Tempe. Let's go ahead and get it over 55. State versus Zona. All right, so we have UCLA in the battle of the in the in the battle for the trophy, the victory bell. And um, I love UCLA in this spot today. It's going to be plus 120. Um, well, the tomorrow, but I think UCLA gets a big win at the Rose Bowl and they end the undefeated season of the. Uh, Trojans as well too. It's crazy how the Trojans aren't getting any love and they're undefeated right now. And usual in real college football seasons with the full schedule, we all know USC would be in the top five, top four right now. Come on, man. Come on, man. And then we got the uh, Stanford Oregon State um, game as well. The uh, Stanford's won 11 straight against Oregon State, but I still like the under 52 and a half. I think this is a good bet right here. And the Pat, that's going to be our Pac-12 bets list right there. Now we move on and we got the SEC. And in the SEC, uh, we got a good game. Uh, to start off the uh, weekend, it's going to be the Mizzou game. And I like Mizzou here with the plus 13 and a half against Georgia. Georgia always kind of uh, lollygags in the final game of the season. I'm not going to say that they lose, but I'm just going to say Missouri puts up a great effort in their uh, for their seniors in their final game. So there it is, plus 13 and a half, Missouri. And then we got Bama, Arkansas. We all know Arkansas uh, is probably going to be a victim of a 30-point blowout or something of that nature. But we'll see, though, Arkansas has been playing tough all season, but Bama is on a mission right now, so I'm taking the over 68 and a half. Let's see how that shakes out. Then we got the under 49 and a half, Tennessee Vandy, and I think this one's going to wind up being a very good game, and it will stay under. You know, Tennessee uh, bat, it started off well. Uh, Vandy has never been in it all season, and you know that Vandy always seems to show up in the final game of the season or uh, in a game nobody expects them to do anything in. So pretty much, I feel like this is going to be a game that's going to be three yards in a cloud of dust, and you know points are going to come. Point you got to earn your points in this one. I think both defenses are going to be up to task for this one, and then you got Florida. I'm just tired of LSU. LSU hasn't been covering anything. They look absolutely awful this season. They've already pulled themselves out of bowl consideration as well too i think florida goes ahead and just wipes the floor with them i'm taking them with the uh, minus 23 let's say uh shakes out then you got mississippi state who's just ready to get out of their woes as well too they've been just having a coasting they've been going through it you got auburn a team that knows that they middling this year um, and things didn't work out the way that they were supposed to, but I think that Auburn still has a good enough offense to go ahead and take care of business, win this game by double digits. We will see how it shakes out, so we move forward from there. And then we have the Metro Bets list, baby. We back in college basketball, and this is my favorite conference because this conference makes me money, and it's going to make you a lot of money if you do tell it. And sometimes you might have to fade me as well, too, because this conference gets uh, gets very tricky sometimes as well, too. You think you might have a good spot with a big favorite over a, a, a lowly dog, and that lowly dog winds up ruining your whole day. So you have to be prepared, and you have to uh, be sharp in these spots as well, too. Make sure you do your homework and everything. But don't worry, I'm going to be doing that for you because um, I'm already setting up the chart and everything for um, a lot of these conferences that are about to start play in the next few weeks, specifically this one as well, too. So you guys can be on the money about it. So Manhattan playing in pretty much their first game of the season. I'm taking them with the plus 100. They're playing against uh, – they're playing um, in a good spot today. They're going to be going against um, – I'm trying to remember who exactly they're going against, but I'm taking Manhattan today, and um, I love Manhattan in this spot. And uh, pretty much I'm taking Ryder as well, too, with the plus 145. And then also going to take Iona today. Ricky P is going to make his debut, and uh, we'll see how that one goes as well, too. And then you have um, – you have – hold on. Yeah, I'm messing up because – 
actually the rider game rider play is going to be Maris money line okay so pretty much sorry about that man just rushing through things and um you got to go ahead and pay attention but that's going to be the Maris money line right there plus 145 so you guys go ahead and that's i have to correct that for you so yes riders playing manhattan so manhattan is the playing that game and uh Maris is going to be the plus 145 once again i'll go ahead and i'll fix that for you guys as well too and um we'll make sure that we get that one right so we got the minus four and a half on iona and the minus eight and a half on st peter's as well too so there it is that's going to be um the metro bets list for today and um hopefully we can go ahead and sweep the board clean them out real quick and uh go from there but i do like the way this group's look this group looks and we'll uh just ride it out and then um once again we uh move forward and i know i didn't get nothing wrong on this one this is the cbb bats list for today we got charlotte minus three and a half we got unc Asheville minus three and a half nebraska omaha plus 24 and a half then we got the minus 13 and a half on Crichton. And then also we have the minus six and a half on Murray State. Then also we have the minus 10 and a half K State plus eight and a half Cal State Fullerton. The plus 13 and a half on Iowa State. The plus four South Dakota. And then we're going to also finish up the night with the plus 18 on San Jose State. So there it is. Those are your 10 games today on the CBB bets list. And you know we've been rocking and rolling on this list the last few days as well to a lot of good upsets as well Coppin State winning by five points is a 19 uh, point plus 19 dog uh, the other day as well so you know pretty much you, you get you, you we just go with the flow on a daily basis that's all we do that's all we do all right so there it is with that and then we move on to the we move on to we move on to the final, final, final segment of the show for you guys, and it's going to be the uh, CFB Friday Night Le uh, Lights bets. Six to one parlay if you want to do it. We're going to do the under 64 and a half, UTEP, UNT, the plus 11 on Zona tonight as well, too. The over 58 and a half in the Nevada San Jose State game as well. So there it is, uh, guys. Six to one on the Palize. And then um, I'll just make sure that um, everything is fixed up in a moment uh once we start doing little clips and things like that so pretty much sorry for the uh errors and things of that nature i didn't mean to do it it's just that it's kind of a rushy rushy type of day i'm half i'm half i'm half here half sleep you know what i mean we had a good night last night over at blue martini so pretty much you know to celebrate you know the fact that um pretty much um it's been a good year um, I know that it feels like it's been a bad year, but you know what? We've all survived, and uh, pretty much we're we're making things happen right now as well, too. So don't let people get you down about what's going on in the world. If you're out there getting your money, if you're out there hustling, doing what you got to do on a daily basis, seriously. You guys, I'm telling you, man, we got this under control. We got the plan in place, and we're going to keep making money, baby. That's what it's all about. So at the end of the day, it is what it is, and we're going to just go ahead and keep the movement moving. This is the premier sports betting show with the one and only Pop DiBiase, and this is the Primetime Angles live on IG, and I am gone. Thank you for tuning in to the Primetime Angles, the premier sports betting show, hosted by the one and only Pop DBIC, the Primetime Captain. This is a Prime Wave Media production, and go ahead and press that subscribe button. From the East and the West, you've heard others, but now you've tuned into the best. This is a Prime Wave Media production.